Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are here at the 2023 PRI show. We're in the Noonan Race Engineering booth. I'm joined by Barry Pettit of Noonan Race Engineering. And between us here is a billet K24 Honda engine, and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Barry, always a pleasure getting to chat with you. Yeah, and thank you, Greg. Getting to showcase uh, another Noonan engine here with you today. Yes, sir. This Honda platform, something uh, kind of brand new for the shop. Yeah. And uh, you guys are, are showing it off here at PRI. Love to know uh, some details about it. Yeah. So this is this is our new Honda K24 block. Um, you have to pardon my voice, I'm a little hoarse. We've been selling a bunch of these today. But um, this is a full billet block um, that we've produced in-house, K24. So it's the taller deck height. Um, and we have a block on display. And then this engine, we actually pulled straight off of the dyno from testing to bring it here. So nice. this is as as is straight. I mean, it's still on the dyno cart. Yeah, um, yeah, awesome. We did uh, many, many runs. We, we're currently at 1200 horsepower. Um, when we go back next week, we have a couple more things coming in. We'll be at 1800 pretty easy. So Barry, uh, again, the Honda stuff is, is kind of a newer thing for Noonan. Can you give us a little background on you know, why you wanted to get into the four cylinder Honda stuff? Yeah, so you know, we're typically known for the V8 stuff, but here lately we've been expanding our, our offerings you know, with the Lamborghini V10, the Porsche six cylinder, yeah. um, you know, the big block Chevy stuff we're doing, private label. So we really just want to ex expand. We've had a lot of customers talk to us about the billet Hondas yeah. and uh, they're making big power. I mean, if you look at pounds per cubic inch or pounds per CC, yeah. um, it's very impressive. I mean, um, you know, so we're, we're all about making big power. We figured we'd take a swing at it, but yeah. it's, um, you know, it's, it's something fun that we've, we've really enjoyed uh, manufacturing. We look at making a lot more of them. Okay. And is this set up kind of the example that you guys are going for in terms of what people would, would be getting from you or are there, are there different configurations that you guys are going to offer? There's a couple configurations. So right now we just have a K series. Okay. Uh, we are going to work on a B series. Okay. Um, and just for the K series, we have a wet and a dry configuration. This is wet. Okay. Um, so we were running water while on the dyno. Uh, temperatures never went over, you know, 100 degrees. It was very happy. Yeah. And that's doing several 1100 horsepower pulls back to back. Yeah. Um, so it worked really well. This has our standard um, sleeve style of machining that we do in all of our stuff from LS to the Lamborghini. Um, it's, it's the same concept applied to this block. Okay, very good. Now, obviously you got the, the block stuff that you guys all do in house. How about some of the other components and, and stuff in the cylinder head? For, for this, we have only done the engine block. Okay. So we actually partnered with Drag Cartel on this. So this has his head, um, a lot of the other, you'll see the auxiliary components, the covers and all that stuff. Yeah. He's already making that. Yep. Um, Jeremy has done a great, great job in that market. Um, you know, and we, we really wanted to work beside him, offer, yeah. offer a part that helps, um, helps suit his products as well. So yeah. um, we, we've really worked beside him on that. So as of right now, this is, the only part on this engine is our engine block. Okay, very good. Uh, Barry, walk us through some of the internals that you guys have chosen to put in an engine like this. Yeah, so this engine, of course, like, you know, it has our block, has a drag cartel head, uh, Brian Crower, 99 millimeter stroke crank. Okay. Uh, it's got MGP rods, uh, the Wiseco pistons, the uh, valve train and all that stuff. It's, it's all off the shelf stuff from drag cartel. Um, one of the big things for us was actually the turbocharger. This is a new turbo that Harry from HPT came out with and, okay. and got us to, to test out. It has been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as far as the internals, it's, it's very standard stuff in the Honda world. Um, but to us, it was so new, right? So it was it was a pleasure to build and, and it's performed extremely well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Barry, talk a little bit about the fueling setup and, as well as the oiling setup on, on this engine. So this, this engine has a, um, it's dual, dual injector per cylinder. Yep. When we were dyno testing it, we were running just solely off the FuelTech 720s. Okay. Um, and it it did extremely well. Uh, the oiling system is 
We, we accommodated the factory oil locations. I mean, it has a, a OE Honda filter on the side of it if you want to. So yeah. uh, the big part of this for us was a lot of the, uh, a lot of the products out there didn't allow customers to run either their same engine mounts, uh, some of the same oil filters and OEs type stuff. Right. So our main objective with our block was to offer a platform for huge horsepower, but still have some of those factory creature comforts, you know, yeah. water cooled, yeah. still fit right, all that kind of stuff. So awesome. Um, yeah, it, it's worked extremely well. Oil pressure, temperatures, all that stuff. It's it was stable. Yeah, very get, good. getting it dialed in. Yeah. All right, now you mentioned the turbo being new from HPT. Um, you know, how much boost are you running through a turbo like that on an engine? Um, like right now, so we're still early in testing. So, I yeah. mean, we, we saw 50 pounds. We weren't using it correctly. Um, we're, we're still learning how this thing wants to work. And we, we've been working with Haltech on some of their new software. Okay. So there's a lot of learning going on. Yeah. But um, this thing didn't even sweat at 50 pounds. Yeah. Um, but right now when we did the 1200 number, we were at like 40 pounds. Okay. Yeah. And, and getting, I think you mentioned it could get up to 18, uh, 100 horsepower? Yes, that's that's what we think. And is that going to that 50 pounds of boost or are you going even higher than that? We'll go a little higher than that. We were only revving it up to 8,500 RPM. So I mean, yeah. we still have a lot of room left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. awesome. Barry, anything else about this uh, K24 Honda that we've left out? There's a lot of features in here that um, people don't really know about. So. We'll just start with like the crank clearance. You can run a 99 millimeter stroke with an aluminum rod. That's what's in this engine. Yeah. Um, or you could go to the 106 if you run a steel rod. This does have half inch head studs, 7 16 main. Um, and it, it can it can accept a factory stud with some negotiations and stuff like that. But yeah. it is a doweled. Um, we, we did do dowels for the cylinder heads to where it'll line up and hold properly. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, man, it, it's just a great piece. It's, I think it's going to serve well. Yeah, and, and speaking of serving, you know, what are some of the applications that you expect, you know, guys to be using this for? You know, a lot of the front wheel drive drag racing classes. Okay. Um, yep. And I've, we've had a bunch of guys come by today that are time attack guys. Mm -hmm. So this is a great lightweight, small solution that you can still run eight, nine hundred horsepower right. with consistently. Um, so. The K series is in everything. I think I, I saw a while back a guy had one in a Ferrari that he was road racing. And yeah. So um, it's such a great platform, and the parts are, are so off the shelf that yeah. it yeah. really can go in about anything. Well, it's a gorgeous Honda engine, and uh, you know the, the Newnham block looks awesome. And I have no doubt in a couple of more years, as you guys wrap your heads around it, uh, it's going to be even cooler. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right Very on. appreciate you telling us a little bit about it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Guys, that's been this uh, episode of Engine of the Week. Thanks for watching. Uh, Make sure you guys are checking out everything that Barry and the folks at Noonan Race Engineering have going on. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.